Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. Today we're checking out a new version of one of the coolest actual analog reverb and tremolo pedals. This is the Crazy Tube Circuits White Whale version 2. So the first version, the, the red one, the white whale, was already pretty much flawless. The only features that they thought they want to change or add are things that people asked for, like very practical little things. And uh, we'll talk about those definitely, but I want to walk you through both sides. On the right side, you'll find the reverb uh, section, and on the left side is the tremolo. And this is an actual spring reverb, like analog. It has three springs inside the enclosure, and uh, even though you have three different reverb settings, it doesn't use different springs. It just has a very clever way of changing the voicing and the, the, the whole thing inside to give you, first of all, different reverb lengths and also voicings. Because uh, you'll hear it in a sec, the short and medium settings are much thinner, sort of presencier, uh, and also shorter, of course, compared to the long setting, which is much more warm and lush and obviously much, much longer too. Let's see the layout of the reverb side of the pedal. Volume, mix, dwell, tone, and a three-way toggle for short, medium, and long reverb. Now, this is new because the old one had uh, two options shorter or longer, and uh, the volume knob is new and that makes all the sense because, well, first of all, obviously when you have reverb on your guitar tone, it's easier to get lost in a mix, so it's good to make up for that sort of uh, effect. And also, if you want to use this pedal for like a solo sound or solo channel or whatever, you just turn that volume way up and you have your volume boost together with the reverb that you engage when you turn on this side. I love the fact that the voicings are different for the three reverb settings because, well, obviously if you have a shorter or like a medium reverb, you want to have it sort of nice and compact, which makes all the sense. And of course, if you want to tweak that and balance this out, you have the tone knob with which you can, of course, make the short ones sound warmer and the, the long reverb sound much, much brighter. Thank you. 
Another cool thing about the preamp that's built inside the reverb uh, side of the pedal is that they also emulate the kind of uh, analog saturation that these tube circuits in these old amps will do if you crank everything on the reverb. So if you have the mix and the dwell maxed out, this is the medium setting, by the way, this is what happens to the tone. It's just such a nice old school saturation. <laughs> And now let's talk about the tremolo side of the pedal, which has three different voicings or types of tremolo now instead of two of the original. It has the tube, tremolo, optical, opto in the middle, and harmonic, which is this chewy, awesome sort of uh, harmonic tremolo kind of thing. And that has two different voicings, the uh, hard and soft, which you can engage with this uh, little switch. And the hard one is much, much warmer, rounder, bigger. The, the soft one is not that much softer. It's ex actually much more chewy and sort of upper mid-range focused uh, compared to the, the, the other sound or voicing. And what's also new about the um, tremolo side is that you have a pre and post toggle with which you can decide whether the tremolo goes in front of the reverb side of the pedal uh, or if it comes after it. Why is that interesting? The uh, tube and optical tremolos uh, usually sound nicest if it comes or if they come after the reverb. That's how you would find these two effects in like old, uh, you know, deluxe reverbs, etc. And um, and if you want to have the harmonic tremolo, that's usually something people want to put in front of the reverb so in that case you would leave this in the pre position Before I play both sides together in all kinds of combinations of reverb and tremolo, I wanted to talk about the connectivity, all the jacks, ins and outs and everything. So it has obviously an input and an output. It has, it still has, I shall say, um, the reverb expression pedal and the tremolo expression pedal uh, jack with which you can use an expression pedal for both sides. You can change the reverb mix on the reverb side and you can change the speed of the tremolo on the tremolo expression output or input or jack. What's also cool about the tremolo expression jack is that you can also connect a tap tempo switch with which you don't have to use an expression pedal to sort of find the right speed. You can just actually use the tap switch and tap the tempo you want the tremolo to be. And the new jack is the remote. With that, you can use a dual foot switch, a remote switch, which uh, if you don't want to have the pedal on your board, for example, or just, I don't know, cannot reach it because you have a big pedal board, uh, you can actually connect that to a remote switch and uh, turn both sides on or off uh, without even getting close to the actual pedal. And the last thing is the power supply. It needs nine volts and um, 160, 180 uh, milliamps, which is super doable. It's not extreme. You don't need like a very high quality, very expensive uh, multi-power supply to give you that amount of juice, which is much, much appreciated. And now I want to play both sides together in all kinds of combinations. <laughs>
My thoughts on the White Whale version 2. Well, first of all, I love what they did with uh, the enclosure. The, the new design is just amazing. I love how it looks. Obviously, that's very subjective. So if you don't like it, that's totally fine. But I do believe this is just much, much nicer, fits the vibe of the tones you're getting with the pedal much much better so I love that. I also love the fact that they've kept everything about the original pedal, the version 1, that was awesome. They just added a couple of nice little features that I think are absolutely necessary. Like for example volume on a reverb uh, side that is just so powerful and lets you use the pedal in so many more situations and uh, in so many different ways all of a sudden. I love that. I also love the fact that there's like an actual little section for harmonic tremolo uh, with the uh, hard and soft uh, version, which is something that I adore. It's my by far my favorite modulation effect. That is a feature that I appreciate a lot. Also having the pre-post option, which all of a sudden makes all the sense as told depending on the tremolo type you might want it in front or after the reverb and the the remote switch just makes all the sense because if you if you imagine someone buying such a big pedal you know this is my hand and i don't have small hands it is pedalboard friendly like modern pedalboard let's put it this way because people tend to have like twice the size of pedal boards compared to like 15 years ago uh, but it's still a big big pedal so if you imagine someone buying something like this, there's a big chance they have a switcher, some sort of a pedal switcher, or just a two big pedal boards to just do the step dance and turn every pedal on and off by stepping on the pedal itself. So it still remained simple. There's no crazy MIDI stuff and whatever, but has so, so many features that make it much more versatile than what one would assume after just seeing like, ah, okay, it's all analog, it's big, hmm, it does a lot and it has all the, the clever expression uh, features and the remote feature that one would one would definitely need. So yeah, I love love everything about it, to be honest. It's not small. Um, so yeah, if you have a small board, it might be an issue, but if you want an actual spring reverb experience, this is definitely one of the best options you can, you can have. Um, you should definitely try it out for yourself if you like the kind of uh, tones you can get with it. And also one of the best tremolo, not just the harmonic tremolo, even though I told that's my favorite, but also the, uh, the optical and the tube are just so lush and so beautiful. All right, let me know in the comments below how you like the sounds of the pedal. And of course, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments and see you next week in a new video. Bye-bye. <laughs>